why did you decide to name your film as a well-known fer fairy tale by written by Brothers Grimm? Well, the, the film is based or inspired on the tale of Grimm's brother. The Grimm's brother tale is only three pages, so it gives you the freedom to tell any story. You can put new characters, you can put new plots. But for me, what I really wanted to do is to surprise the audience. I wanted to make a sensorial experience, and I wanted to use the imaginarium and the images of Spanish culture, like flamenco and bullfighting, but giving it a twist. And the movie takes place in 1920, and I didn't want to make Snow White a princess. I have a nine-year-old daughter, and I'm very sick of a princess and the pink color. So I wanted to make a very strong Snow White. I didn't want to make a Snow White that is in the little house with the dwarves cleaning their underwear and cooking. I wanted to make a powerful Snow White, almost like a feminist statesman. And at that time, in 1920s, the, the matador or the bullfighter was the king. So it was perfect to make the daughter of the king uh, Snow White, Snow White bullfighter. You are telling your story without the words. Yes, I think cinema is visual storytelling and I think images are much more powerful than words. With the words you lie, but with the eyes you don't lie. So I believe that the silent cinema is the great moment of film history and I really wanted to tell a movie with no words and silent cinema I think is so powerful. But there's still music in the background. Yes, there's music from beginning to end. The soundtrack is from Alfonso de Villayonga and he's done an amazing soundtrack. And the music is the voice of the characters. There's also flamenco in the movie. There is not only soundtrack, we also contact with a guitarist and with a singer. Yeah, and we have a mix of flamenco and orchestra music.